Hi, everybody. This is Catherine Williams, your local Santa Clarita realtor. And today I'm here with Kim Howe. She is the director of student support services for the Newhall School District. And she is the former Meadows Elementary School principal. So welcome, Kim. It's so great to see you. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> Appreciate you giving me this opportunity. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to talk with you. So most of us have no idea what Director of Student Support Services means. Can you explain what it is you do? Sure, I would love to. So the Director of Student Support Services, I actually have two very different roles. Um, I, one of them is I am in charge of servicing or ensuring that students with an individual an individualized education program at IEP that they receive what they need. So the resources, so students with identified disabilities, they um, require specific services and um, supports to help them access education. So my staff, that's what they do. They, they are the resource room teachers, the special day class, the speech and language pathologists, occupational therapists, um, APE, alternative physical education teachers. And we work together to ensure that all those kiddos needs are met and that they are academically successful. Also social emotionally supported. Another part portion of my role is to ensure that kids get what they need socially and emotionally through counseling and through um, services that way so that kids feel safe at school. Um, the other portion of my job that I do is called student services. And that side of the house, um, we actually um, manage all the transfers to and from and in between schools. We also um, handle anything around attendance. We do work in collaborations with lots of other departments in our district. I work in collaboration with the human resource department with regards to transfers and also in collaboration with the instruction department with regards to um, uh, kindergarten placement and kinder some, some of the attendance some of those other things right there. But overarching, my job entails um, overseeing students that have needs, which sometimes it's a lot of them, so. Yeah, well, I know our district is so lucky to have you. I know you're so dedicated to what you do and that you are busy all the time doing things to help our students and to make Newhall School District an even better place. So I was wondering, what are some difficult situations you've had to deal with? Yeah, so I have had some difficult, as administrator, we have lots of difficult situations to deal with. I would say looking back um, on my experience as an administrator, one of the more difficult things that I've dealt with is what we've actually all been dealing with in education for the last 13 months. And that has to do with the COVID closures, you know, the, the school closures as a result of COVID-19. So it's been a, it's been challenging, but we have managed and we've been able to do what's best for children, the best that we possibly could through it. Um, the key to the success is to just stay positive and to always just look, look at the, look and recognize the barriers and the roadblocks that are ahead of us and then strategize and partner with parents and staff to remove those barriers if at all possible. And so when you, I have found that when you conduct yourself in that manner, staying positive, identify the roadblocks, partner with your stakeholders and, and your partners to remove those, then you can get through it with a smile. And it is frustrating sometimes. I'll, I'll recognize that, that it does take a little extra work, but it is doable if you, it's all in your perspective and how you, how you approach those challenge, that challenge, so. Yeah, I know this time with COVID has been difficult for a lot of parents, but you have such a positive attitude about trying to make the most of the situation that is at hand. But well, thank you. I, you know, we have a choice, don't we, every day? You have a choice mm -hmm. to either choose happiness and choose positive or to just live in that area of being negative. And I don't, I choose the, you know, I'd rather choose happy and choose to be solution-based. Mm -hmm. I love that. That is a great attitude to have. So what have you enjoyed most about working with the Newhall School District? Mm -hmm. uh, I love that question. Um, what I have loved about the Newhall School District is that 
every decision that I have been involved with and been a part of, it really truly is student centered. Um, the decisions are what are what are best for students, what would what would benefit them, and e in every decision, when we're talking about curriculum, when we're talking about safety, when we're talking about um, initiatives and projects, it's all based on what's best for children. And so that, and I love children and that's why I'm in this job. So that's why one of the reasons um, I just have enjoyed working at Newhall so much because we're student centered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. So I remember you used to be the principal at Meadows. I was mm -hmm. wondering, what do you miss most about mm -hmm. your old position as principal? Oh, oh me, I love serving as principal at Meadows. One of the things that I miss most probably um, as being principal of Meadows is being able to go um, out at the playground at lunchtime and playing handball <laughs> with the kids or just mingling with kids and, and being around kids all, all the time. I, I, I do miss that. I try to get out in schools. Now this last 13 months has been very different because everything's been closed down. But prior to the um, school closures, even as director, I was in schools, you know, often, very often, many times daily in different schools. But being a principal, you really get to know your students and and can talk with them. And, and I miss that. I, I do. I really miss that community, the family community that we had at Meadows. Mm -hmm. And I most certainly miss the children. I miss the children. Yeah, I know. I was an elementary school teacher for years and and I miss some of that too. It's really special with the kids. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering what opportunities are there for parents and community members to get involved? Uh, I'm really glad you're asking me that, Kathy. So one of the things that I started last year when I first started as director is we established what is called a special education um, advisory council, it's SEAC, it's the short for SEAC. And we meet once a month in the evening and we now meet over Zoom because of the closures. And really what this is, it's an opportunity for any parent with a child with an IEP or a 504 or any parent that even wants to be involved and, and kind of see what we're doing for children. Any, anybody can join us and it's run uh, very, very structured. We have a SEAC president, which currently right now is a parent at one of our elementary schools. Um, we have a SEAC board. We have a, a, a published agenda and um, it's wonderful. We, we meet once a month. There's always um, a, an agenda item for public comments to have, we kind of get a, get our like, you know, pulse on what's going on out there in the community. Um, the people a part of SEAC, we have uh, administrators, we have teachers, um, we have parents, and it's just really a wonderful time once a month for us to get together, hear how everything's going, listen to concerns, listen to roadblocks that our families are experiencing, and then partner with them and remove those barriers so our kids can benefit and get the most out of their school day. That sounds great. Um, I hope some of our uh, community will come to those meetings and, you know, help the kids out that way. Yeah, well, you. Kim, it's been wonderful speaking with you today. I know you're a busy lady, so I'm going to let you go. And I just want to remind our listeners, I've been speaking with Kim Howe, Director of Student Service Support Services at Newhall School District. And I'm Catherine Williams, your local Santa Clarita realtor. And we'll see you in our next episode. Bye-bye.